Welcome to DHS Informatics. In this video, we are going to see the complete demonstration of remote sensing image scene classification using deep learning techniques. Actually, we can able to tell this project as a aerial view image classification or we can able to call it as an um, sky view image classification like that multiple name we can able to tell it is a recent IEEE paper hope this video will be interesting for you please watch this video continuously thank you actually in this uh, project we are going to classify uh, seven categories field forest grass industry parking resident and river lake we can able to go through this uh, here you can see no these are belongs to the uh, field images these are the training data set similarly we are going to uh, classify the forest grass industry parking resident and a river lake what is the advantage of uh, this project means we are uh, going to do some pre-processing technique called the gabber filter with the help of the gabber filter what we are going to achieve means we can able to make that image into line drawings like that we are going to apply two levels of gabber filter so that what will happen means all the seven categories are again we are a uh, first level gabber filter will be done and uh, second level gabber filter also we are doing while we are doing the gabber filter what is happening means the edges will be sharpened and it will become projected very nicely so that the cnn algorithm we are going to use a deep learning technique called convolution neural network in this project so that that cnn algorithm easily able to understand that uh, uh, edges correctly properly and it will classify correctly so that in this project we are going to do two models one model aerial image classification with cnn and a aerial image classification with the gabber filter and cnn what it's going to achieve means we are going to prove that with the gabber filter cnn will give more accuracy without gabber filter it is giving less accuracy it is a comparison when you are doing a project in your college they may ask you what the new innovation you did in your project like that they will ask you so that you can able to tell that already they are using the aerial view classification or sky view image classification or remote sensing image classification with the cnn only i applied gabber filter and improve the accuracy and we are getting the improvement that is a my enhancement i did like that also you can able to tell okay hope you understand the project concept first to achieve this thing what we have to do means uh, we have to do the python coding with the jupyter notebook we will do the python coding with the jupyter notebook and create the model it is the coding for the pre-processing and uh, this is the coding for the cnn classification so that cnn classification means what we have to do means uh, we have to construct our own model before that we have to do the image pre-processing pre-processing means resizing the image under normalization lot of work we have to do then uh, what we'll do means we will build the cnn model then we will uh, train the model and after the training we can able to do the confusion matrix classification report and find that how much accuracy this model is uh, giving like that we can able to identify so that you can see that it is a cnn model is giving 176 percent accuracy each time you are running that accuracy slightly vary uh, two or four percent or maybe five percent it will be go up and down okay then we are saving this model another one model with the gabber filter we train the model and uh, for our same field seven categories will be there and once we train the model what will happen means we are getting that uh, almost accuracy above 90 percent we are getting the accuracy above 90 99 percent 94 percent we are getting the accuracy like that it will be come into the picture so that each time we have to develop the in a jupyter notebook we have to save the model this model we are going to use it in a front-end application the model what we saved here i can show you we will save that model inside this uh, model we can see that now we are having a cnn model and a gabber filter model we are having 
json file is nothing but an infrastructure of the model h5 file is a weightage of the model so that we are storing those things okay this we are going to use in a front end uh, flask application i am going to demonstrate you now the flask application here the flask application is there okay deep learning technique to classify the aerial image with a gaber filter you can able to keep it as a sky view image or remote sensing whatever the title you want you can able to do that you want to register the user we are having a register option here we can able to go and register the user i am going to re register one person siva kumar and his mail id is siva.kumar at gmail.com and uh, is a mail and the city bangalore and the country india and the password i am giving some password now it is registered successfully it is coming that it is registered successfully you can log in here so that we have to give the his password i have mail id sivakumar at gmail.com and password what i given yes you logged in once you come to it is a home page here in the home page you can have the home button and the cnn uh, without gaber filter cnn with gaber filter and the graph change password password will be there okay now we are going with an uh, without gaber filter we are going we already developed the model in a python jupyter notebook that model is stored now i am going to show it here the demo i am taking this uh, image this is a river lake uh, i am taking this river lake and i am going to show the image so that this image is coming and the prediction we are going to predict the image what will be the prediction okay it is coming it is detecting correct only but you can see the accuracy that accuracy or we can call it as an confident level the confident level is a 48% only it is very less i can same image i am going to detect with the gaber filter so same image i am giving i already told you we are having a two levels of gaber filter it is a gaber filter 1 and the gaber filter 2 so that the edges will be sharped it is coming then we are predicting so that it is a detecting it is also river like but you can see that the accuracy of this river like will be the probability it will be 99% for 89 so that when you are doing with a gaber filter we can able to say that uh, accurately we can able to say there will be no mis mistakes for that we did the comparison here so that you can see that the classification report of for cnn and the classification report for the gaber filter with the cnn you can see that it is giving the overall accuracy 71% only whereas it is giving 94% it is giving so that there may be chances when you are keep on trying here there may be a lot of mistake may be come with the cnn model whereas with the gaber filter model the mistakes will be very very less and it is minimum or we can able to say nil also we can tell that the confusion matrix also it was going to show you the things so hope you understand what is the confusion matrix we given uh, nearly we given that the uh, 60 forest we given in the 60 forest 76 is predicted as a forest and uh, one it is predicted as a grass and one is a, it is a predicted as a um, resident like that will be coming into the picture okay so that we can able to this not 60 we are given 78 it is a forest now forest will be 78 we given the 78 images we given this 78 images 76 predicted correctly and a two only mistake like that we can able to calculate the things and you can able to see that we are taking the training data and the test data split 80% for the training and 20% for the testing with the data. So that it will give that the clear where you got this thing means from the back end code only we are getting these images. You want to change password we can do the change password and we can again go go back home and you can able to we can able to do it a lot of other works also we can able to do that. Again one more time also we can give another image we can able to do it hope you understand this project very very clearly uh, any doubts or any clarifications uh,
please contact us. Uh, we are given our contact details, everything in the um, uh, in the description. It is uh, from DHS Informatics. We are located in Bangalore. For quality projects, please approach us. Thanks for listening this video. Thank you. I am logging out, signing out. Thank you. Bye.